It has been a long and exhausting day. I'm so tired, but it was a really good one because today I ran the Amsterdam Marathon and this is my story. The night before, I tried to sleep, but really couldn't. Nevertheless, I got out of bed at 6 a.m. and went to the Zandam Railway Station to board the 635 Sprinter train to Amsterdam Central. Just arrived to Amsterdam Central. It's windy, there's some rain. I'm extremely nervous. I'm still a bit sore, I'm very tired. Oh. But it's marathon time, about to hop on the subway and uh, head to the Olympic Stadium and hopefully run a marathon. In the metro now, it's good to see other runners here. It's uh, nice to know that I'm not in this alone. All right, I made it here outside the Olympic Stadium in Amsterdam. I am nervous. At least the sun's coming out. It's not much rain, kind of a drizzle. Hopefully it uh, stays that way. Hopefully the temperatures are good and there's not too much wind. It's a little windy right now, but uh, yeah. Hopefully it goes well. Now it's time for me to get these clothes off, check my gear, head to the start line, and uh, run a marathon. So after I checked my bag, I made my way into the stadium, and that was awesome. That Olympic Stadium is absolutely epic, and before I knew it, I was starting the race. Now the first few miles of any race are always pretty exciting, and this was no exception. However, at least in the place that I was, it was very crowded and tight. I was constantly bumping into people. And usually this happens with any big race, people are trying to find their pace, but usually it spreads out within like a mile or so. This didn't happen until like mile six. It was pretty annoying. You always have to be on your toes, looking around, making sure no one bumps into you because I just don't want to get hit and be trampled on. That would completely suck. But after that, it was a pretty solid race. And one of my big concerns was the weather but luckily it held out. I mean, the forecast previously said that it was gonna rain, and I ran two marathons in the rain, and they sucked. Today, it was pretty good race weather. I can't complain too much. It was a little windy at points, but other than that, it was solid. The highlight of the race was, of course, the finish. Running on that track through the Olympic Stadium to the finish line was absolutely epic. The crowd cheering, the noise, and crossing that finish line felt so, so good. That is a moment I'll never forget. I, of course, was tired and exhausted, but feeling great. And I stumbled out of the stadium to pick up my bag. <laughs> Done. I think I got three hours, 14 something. I don't know. Too tired to think. I'm gonna eat my banana and drink some water. I'll get back to you. Congratulations! Oh, James. thank you! you did it. Thank you! Yeah, well Appreciate done, it! Woo! Freaking Rembrandt just congratulated me. Feeling much better now. Feeling uh, alive. Still, bit, uh, still pretty tired. A little confused, but uh, headed towards the subway. Want to get back, take a shower, and eat a ton of food. And drink a lot of beer. This is a load of BS. The freaking metro station is closed. I can't believe it. Amsterdam has been so good with infrastructure and public transportation, but this sucks. Not very enthused about walking after running a marathon, but, uh, and I have no idea where the hell the station is. I hope other people know I'll just follow the crowd and uh, hopefully I'll end up somewhere where I need to be. Well, at least that's a pretty cool building. Look at all these sights I'm getting to see because of the metro situation. This still sucks. Uh, I've got a map here. Look at this, I'm making progress. It's not that much further. It's still kind of far. Honestly, I'm not one that usually complains if there's a lot of walking involved, but today it's a different story. I'm a little tired. I've got some energy back, but still 
a little tired. Frankly, I really just want to get back to the hotel so I can wash up because I feel like crap right now. I feel so dirty, messy, sweaty, my hair looks terrible. Ugh, and I'm so hungry. I know I need to eat food, all those calories I burned. Fun part comes up soon. You know, this is really cool looking. It's pretty neat to see this side of Amsterdam. Usually you think old buildings and uh, that kind of architecture. Nice to see modern stuff. It's not one dimensional. This is a very beautiful and dynamic city. But I would love to see more than anything Station Zoo. Hopefully I'm almost there. Station Zood, success. It's very crowded in here. Once I got to Amsterdam Central, I hopped in an inner city train for the short ride back to Zandam and my hotel. Finally back, but now the moment I've been waiting for, it's shower time. After that shower, I took care of the other priorities. I immediately ran downstairs to the closest cafe to my hotel, the Kofizak, for a wonderful double espresso and a slice of carrot cake. Then I went to the train station to hop on a train to Amsterdam, where I finally got a real meal. I went to a restaurant called Mr. Meatball and enjoyed some very nice and hearty Dutch food. After that late lunch, early dinner, anyways after that I went to a bar and I got a very refreshing beer and I did a little reading. Yes I am a party animal. After that, I thought I needed a little culture, so I went to a museum. It was a good laugh. Then I walked around for a bit, and I thought I need more food. So I went to Fibo, one of the automats here. I've been there once before, and I got like this chicken sandwich thing. Obviously, not the best of the establishment, but it's all right. Then I went right across the street, and I got this uh, lime cannoli. It was decent. After that, I came back to the hotel here. I'm gonna rest up a bit because tomorrow is another exciting day here in Amsterdam and I don't have a marathon to worry about. I feel like a weight's been lifted off my shoulders. All in all, today was epic. I created memories that will last a lifetime. The Amsterdam Marathon was awesome. Running a marathon, challenging oneself, trying new things, traveling, exploring. These are aspects that create an amazing life. While I didn't win the marathon today and I didn't have any plans to, I won my day. This is a day that I'll never forget. This was awesome.